Hey guys, it's Nick Sabrito from GMInsideNews.com. I'm standing next to something we've all been waiting for for a very long time. The 2014 Chevrolet Corvette with a new name attached. The Stingray name will return after a very long absence because this new Corvette is so iconic and so technologically advanced, GM felt the need to bring back the name. The new Corvette is wearing an all new exterior design, including a, a new exposed carbon fiber roof and hood. It's also optional with body color. In addition to the all new design, we have an all new chassis, all new interior. Just about every single component of this car has changed or has improved in some capacity, as well as improved aerodynamics, which were the main focus of the new exterior design. Here we are with the all new 2014 Corvette interior. And the interior was always a, a weak point on the last Corvette and something everyone kind of overlooked for the car's performance. However, that's no longer going to be the case with the new Stingray. The all new interior behind me here is a ground up redesign. And despite looking a lot like the C4 interior, GM swears that that was not the, the inspiration for this all new interior. It's a ground up design uh, with a heavy focus of a cockpit feel. They, they say in clinics, Corvette buyers love that cockpit feel, so they've taken a little further here with the, the C7 interior. Uh, as you can see, we've got a leather wraparound, which will be optional on higher trims, much like today's Corvette, as real carbon fiber, real aluminum, and, and just about all the, the premium materials one would expect in a car of fifty to $60,000 price range. In addition, there's two new seats. Uh, the ones right here that we're looking at are the sport seats, which will be a free flow option. Either seat will be optional on any of the trim levels of the C7. In addition, we have GM's latest infotainment system, including MyLink, uh, an LCD gauge cluster with reconfigurable display, as well as you know all the latest infotainment options, USB port, everything that the Corvette has always really lacked because of its archaic electronics infrastructure that the current car has today. Here we are next to the all new chassis for the 2014 Corvette. And for 2014, the Z06 and ZR1's all aluminum chassis has trickled down to the new Stingray because this new chassis is all aluminum, which has shed a modest amount of weight from the new Corvette. Uh, the exact number is kind of debatable, it sounds like. This chassis is much stronger than the outgoing Corvette chassis, and it's actually even stronger than the ZR1's chassis today. Chevrolet has elected to drop the cross members from the roof, which has not negatively affected the structural rigidity of the chassis. Last but certainly not least is the new heart of this all new Stingray, and that is the 6.2 liter small block V8, dubbed the LT1, bringing back another legacy name with this all new Corvette. The 6.2 liter has direct injection, active fuel management, variable valve timing, and just about every other acronym for engine components that is imaginable in today's world. Uh, GM is estimating 450 horsepower out of this new engine with 450 pound-feet of torque, uh, recommending premium fuel. All this new power that the LT1 makes will be funneled through a Tremec TR7077 speed manual, which is all new for the new Corvette. Uh, there's no word on exactly which automatic transmission this car is going to get. GM is not really saying much at this point, but we're assuming it'll be the 6L80 six-speed automatic, which is in the current Corvette today. This engine will also have an optional dry sump oil pump on the Z51 package, uh, just like today's Grand Sport and ZR1. The all-new Stingray is expected to launch in dealers uh, in the third quarter of this year. They're saying late summer, however, it's kind of still up in the air as to the exact timing of the launch of the all-new Stingray.